Hello and welcome back. One of the questions I get asked is what is an abscess? And actually a lot of my followers on TikTok ask me this question. And by the way, if you are not following me on TikTok, you are missing out. So do follow me on that platform. Today, this is what I'm going to be talking about. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Dr. Tasha and I'm a breast surgeon. So what is an abscess? Well, an abscess is essentially a collection of pus and it can happen anywhere and everywhere. You can have an abscess in your lung, your ovaries, you can have it in your gallbladder, your bowel, even your brain. You can have an abscess anywhere and everywhere. And therefore it also includes your breast. You can get a breast abscess. So what are the signs and symptoms of a breast abscess? A breast abscess usually presents as a lump that can be painful, red, hot and sometimes tender if it's not painful. There are two common causes of breast abscesses. Broadly speaking, it can either be an abscess that is related to pregnancy or breastfeeding. And the other type of breast abscess is what we call a non-lactating breast abscess, which is one that just happens. And actually breast abscesses can occur more commonly in those who smoke. So if you come to the breast clinic, what will happen? Well, you'll get examined by a doctor and then you will get some sort of scan. If you are under the age of 40, you will most likely get an ultrasound scan. And even actually if you're over 40, which is the age where you would get a mammogram, because breast abscesses can be quite painful, you may not be able to tolerate a mammogram. You will, however, definitely get an ultrasound scan. Clinically, an abscess is quite obvious to see because of all the features that I've described. You will have a swelling, the area will be hot, it will be tender, sometimes even painful. There might be, you know, a redness of the skin overlying it. And actually, if it's a really bad abscess, you might even feel unwell generally, you might even have a fever. An ultrasound scan will tell us exactly what it is. And, it, you know, as I said, clinically, an abscess is quite um, noticeable and quite easily diagnosed, but an ultrasound scan will confirm it. And usually what will happen is um, we can see the contents of the abscess with that ultrasound scan. How do we treat an abscess? The best way to treat an abscess is essentially antibiotics as well as repeated aspirations. What does that mean? Well, you will be given antibiotics. Definitely that will help improve your symptoms. But also with that, with the ultrasound scan, because we can see what is within that area, we will need to take out the pus, which is usually what's in an abscess. At a local anesthetic, sometimes actually without local anesthetic, uh, we'll pop a needle into the area and aspirate or take away the contents, which is usually, as I said, pus. We will then send a little bit of that to the lab so they can have a look at it and see if there are any bacteria or bugs that might be growing in it. And as I said, you will then be given antibiotics to help improve the symptoms even more. Repeated aspirations and antibiotic cover is the mainstay of abscess treatment. And it's not uncommon for somebody to have to come back a few times to have repeated aspirations. It can be uncomfortable and we always recommend you to take pain relief because that will really help um, alleviate your symptoms. And very importantly, if you become generally unwell, systemically unwell, meaning you might have fevers or even rigors and chills, then you definitely need to go sometimes even to the A&E department or the emergency department to get IV antibiotics. Some people may need what we call incision and drainage, which is essentially a surgical evacuation of the pus from that abscess. The decision to undertake a surgical incision and drainage of an abscess is one that it will be made by the um, surgeon looking after that particular person. But what we would normally try to do to treat an abscess is, as I said, by repeated aspiration as well as antibiotic cover. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next one.